Hello everyone, welcome to Crusaders 2127. Ferguson is a full-scale staged event and thanks to an anonymous person we've got the proof. But first this is an article from RT. Here you see him, there you don't. Ukrainian rebel commander appears on Ferguson video. This entire event is most likely planned to bring about martial law in the United States of America. It will start in Ferguson and spread wide and fast. Look at Ukraine. I've been comparing Ukraine to Ferguson how many times before I even knew? Because it's identical. I've watched it. It's identical. Here come the Molotov cocktails. Oh, this is this is sad. This is an article posted by an anonymous person. And I'm very happy to say, I'm. Uh, thank you so much for doing your research, but I don't know who you are, so I can't really thank you. Meet Erica Arts, Ferguson EMT, firefighter, DHS event planner, U.S. Marshal intern, locksmith, and realtor. Let's, let's see who she is really quickly here. Here is Erica Arts' Twitter, Ferguson's firefighter, emergency management consultant, specializing in exercise design, bioterrorism. Oh boy, folks, that's a big word right there, especially with this Ebola stuff coming out. Public health, hazardous materials, and infectious disease. Huh. Erica Arts, MSMEP. Data Solutions, Ferguson Fire Department, Risk Solutions International, Lock Security, United States Marshal Service, Emergency Management Institute. Let's go back to this. Oh, and see, and she works for Risk Solutions International, who specializes in simulations and exercises. Let's go to the third link here. Risk Solutions International. The risks facing organizations today are more complex and threatening and maintaining operations during a crisis can be far more challenging. Ensuring your organization's viability means looking closely at your internal operations and external supply chain to understand how risks impact the continuity of your business. Risk Solutions International helps organizations create strategies to understand and manage their operational risks. A world-class team. What do we know what that means? That's the UN, folks. I won't be surprised if my channel gets taken down again for showing this kind of stuff. So the Black Panthers took over the fire station. Let's have a look here. Black Panthers take over fire uh, department. Ferguson Fire Department, that's Alex Jones. Uh, raw video, new Black Panther Party protesters take over. As I'm posting about this, I'm getting a uh, phone call from plus zero, 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 zero. I wonder. I, I really want to show you this. Um, I'll pull it up in a minute. I'll show you at the end of this this video here. So this is what happens when I do this kind of stuff all the time. It's insane. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, correction. The new fire station according to a 2011 Ferguson City Council minutes. Let's go to the next link here. Ah, 404 not found, so they've deleted it. Great. Hang on here. Click it again. Not found. Hmm. Interesting. Because he even says in this, because I've, I've, like, I've seen that article. I watched it a couple days ago. I, I found out about this. I kind of confirmed it. I was waiting on it before I posted about it. And then RT comes out and says it. And it's just time to blow the whole thing wide open. And speaking of the Ferguson Fire Department, here's their contact page. Where Mrs. Erica Arts, or Miss Erica Arts, I should say, name does not appear. So let's go to the next one here. Firefighter. Erica Arts demonstrates how to tie a full body hasty harness and use a bear crawl technique to rescue a downed firefighter. Okay, interesting. Her name is still not mentioned. Where we go back here? Okay. But she did get a special recognition award along with some others in 2011, so we're going to click on Ferguson City. Not found. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. So now they're deleting links. And in, I, I mean, this sucks. I knew I should have posted it a couple days ago. When I looked at all this information, um, I think it was two days ago, all of it was right there in front of my face. And now it's saying 404 not found. Oh, it makes me so mad. 
And in 2011, she was teaching firefighter rescue teaches uh, rescue classes on the net. There you go. There's that proof right there. So she is, she's supposedly a firefighter. And she is the one that provided the burning video to the media of the convenience store that supposedly was the beginning of the staged riots in Ferguson. Because she is a firefighter. She was there. Even though she's not listed as a firefighter on the city website. That's kind of odd. That, hang on one sec. Let's pull this up. Let me just let me scroll through this and I'll go to the city's website and I'll try and find it again. Video, firefighters arrive on the scene, burning building. So that's still there. Arts! So as you can see, they're, they're slowly trying to get rid of all this information. Um, not smart because we, we're going to report on it right now. And in 2013, she was the exercise planner for Nevada's Urgent Solidarity Drill. I had that up here too. Solidarity, where are you? Here we go. Schools prepared and ready together across Nevada. Project team. Let's go through and find her name. Getting kind of creepy yet. And she sells real estate. Zoom info. Here we go. See that real quick. Three one four five six five four zero six one three one four five six five. Huh. Oh, she could have moved. Okay. Uh, okay. And is, of course, a U.S. Marshals intern, which is handy since the DOJ needs Marshals on site to coach the protesters. Activist post. Stirring the pot. I reported on this as well. DOJ sends Marshals to coach the protesters in Ferguson. Really? Coaching the protesters, huh? Hmm, okay. And all that can come in real handy. If you plan to blow stuff up or burn down buildings, especially in an area that has been marked for raising, i.e. the inner suburb ring due to lead abatement issues, poverty's grind on declining property, excuse me, property values, white flight, and the expansion of a major airport, all under the auspices of Agenda 21 in St. Louis, according to the East-West Continuity of Government Council there. See page 19 for details, but pursue the whole thing. Let me pull this up for you here. I'm not going to scroll to page 19. Well, hang on, here we go. Let me type it in. Page 19. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Uh uh uh. Just like Sandy Hook, a lot of links are down that would have paper trails funding via DHS. One, see, he's updated this. These are the ones I just tried to click on that come up with this 404 not found. Of course they do. But I did find various closed session meetings of the council, uh, city council leading up to the week's events. Uh, Google.com. Let's click that real quick here. Huh. Isn't that something? And it's a jurisdictional agenda, along with training the black community to respond to their handlers. Now, in the previous video, in the previous video, I mentioned that Fritz Springmeier was just on Alex Jones explaining how all of these quote-unquote rioters and looters are under mind control. Well, a mind control person answers to a handler. Oh, and the United Nations is having a meeting on what? Civil rights. Right now. And they say all eyes are on Ferguson. As we wait for links to load, sorry, I've got 
the entire browser full up here. I apologize for taking too long. I'm not trying to be quiet or anything. <sighs> Guys, it's just ridiculous. It's just gotten so far. I see no gun confiscation agenda here, although my guess is most of them could not legally carry anyway, and most could not afford to legally buy one. But the Vixen family has lawyered up. The businesses already have a donation fund. The neighborhood folks already have a donation fund. There is a huge media push, which is which is way weird. I like how I just said way weird, which is very, very strange to have it this time because look at the Bundy Ranch. They didn't have it there. Uh, the town got their new fire station and more to come. Too many Kowinky Dinkies to be an organic event. I totally agree. Now I've got one more thing for you. What better than a live drill than to actually have the real thing, supposedly? U.S. Army. This was posted on July 17th, 2014. I watched this on that day. I remember it specifically. U.S. Army training to fight black Americans. I got to back up because I'm yelling. I'm sorry. You've got to be kidding me. Boom. The whole thing is busted. It's a fake event. If you're planning to go to Ferguson, get away from there. If you're planning to go protest, get away from there. Because the whole thing is staged to blow open. Martial law has practically been declared. A promotional video touting FEMA's emergency response capability shows U.S. National Guard troops, U.S. National Guard troops, training to detain unruly African American citizens in prison camps before handing them over to police. Uh-uh. Because what exactly did I catch last night while they were live streaming? A nationally accredited correctional institution with black people inside of it. I can't show any more, otherwise they're going to get me for a third party. But what I'm trying to get at is this whole thing is staged that should be enough proof for you right there if it's not tell me and I'll do more I'll try and find more to the best of my ability but what I have just shown you thank you so much to this person I really wish I could thank you I really want to call you and thank you right now I'm serious because this is huge and this person needs to be in jail even if that's not her real name because it's, it's clearly not this person right here though Miss Erica Arts. <sighs> Guys. It's not looking good. You need to be getting prepared. And according to the research, it's coming to fruition. You know people hate on Alex Jones? I, I do too. I'm not going to lie. I don't like him. But sometimes he's right. That's all the news I've got for right now. And it's sad. It's sad. God bless. Take it easy. Be safe. Don't go if you're thinking about going.